The Imperial Japanese Type 99 No. 3 Mark III aerial incendiary bomb was a cluster munition originally designed to damage or destroy enemy bomber formations. Weighing 75 pounds, inside were 198 phosphorus-filled steel pellets. Armed with two fuses, the spinning bomb exploded over the bombers, releasing the pellets over a wide area. The explosion would be visually impressive, with smoke and fire tendrils descending on the targets below. These bombs were sometimes referred to as tako, or octopus bombs, by the Japanese pilots for the shape the burning phosphorus pellets created. But using these were extremely difficult. The plane had to line up to the formation and drop above the expected flight path. Then at the right altitude, the bomb would be released. The bomb was designed to spin to arm the tail fuse to spread the pellets in a wide conical area. Once the right RPM and time elapsed, the bomb would burst. The pellets contained phosphorus that would ignite with exposure to air, designed to hit and burn through the bomber's fuselage, igniting the fuel tanks or disabling the control surfaces. While good in theory, in practice it was very difficult to get results, as often the bombers could alter course to avoid the burning pellets with minimal damage. These bombs were eventually used against land targets such as airfields as they were more effective in that role.